Yo, what's up everyone? Trainman one here and we're back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. And today guys we're talking about episode 29. So this episode not too much really went down. It, it was basically a filler episode. Basically, it was a few cool seats in it, but it wasn't really too big to where it was like a oh my gosh, this is an amazing episode or anything. The animation was very nice in this episode though, I have to admit. But it wasn't really too much like development or anything. We did get to see the group out camping and stuff, so that's pretty cool. But we really didn't get a good like story to it, I guess, compared to the last ones. But basically, the episode is Ash and the group are camping. They're setting up the camp stuff, and Lana tells them a uh, basically like a little camp story, like a little scary story about this one guy and. Basically, what happened to him when he went to the forest one time, and basically how he passed out from the from like he got this energy suck, which is basically the whole purpose of more law. But I this is, I learned something that I didn't know back in the games that more law actually takes energy and then it gives it back later on when it evolves. So that was pretty cool because when I first saw this evolution, I was wondering I thought it was gonna be like a, a evil Pokemon, but it actually gives energy. Which we will talk about later on when we get into this review. But basically, as the episode goes on, they're camping, setting up, eat, eating and stuff. It's, yes, they're just all out having a good time. Basically, Riley ends up going out, ends up dropping something. I, I don't know what he dropped, actually, but he dropped something. Then he's going back. Then, basically, he, he passes out. He he um falls asleep. Ash goes to see Sophocles is asleep as well. Kiawe is following after Ash. He sees something. And then when Ash and the group, like, run into Morlo, Morlo takes, like, sucks the food out of the mask. Like, uses the energy that they got from the food and uses it for itself. Then we see an old-looking Ash, Pikachu, Rowlet, and and Royal Tommy even lost some of his battery percent. And um, Sophocles as well. But that was so crazy. We get to see Charger Bug again and they actually use Charger Bug to charge up the battery. So that's kind of cool how they actually use Charger Bug like that. But yeah, they're all like old edition. Then Malo, Lana, and Kiawe are all old edition stuff. And Litten, yeah, basically. Lily's the only one who didn't like get affected by it because I, I don't know what they were talking about. But I don't think she ate nothing so that the, my more law could take anything. Like, take any of the food energy. But, yeah, basically, they run into Morlo again later. And they find out that it's trying to, like, glow, I guess. Yeah, for this this big event that's about to happen. So, Ash just tells Morlo, come on. Like, I'm about to keep eating so you can keep getting that energy. And Ash just keep eating and eating and eating. As Morlo just keeps taking more of the food energy and food energy. He just keeps going, like, another plate, another plate, another plate. But what was really cool about this scene is that Pose actually played. And I was like, wow, I did not expect them to play Pose. I almost thought Ash was going to catch more love due to the fact of them playing Pose and, like, how they were working together. So I was thinking that Ash might have caught more love. But later on, after it gets enough energy, uh, the more, like, there's a whole bunch of other more lows walking through the forest, shining. And the more low that was helping the others basically go with them. And they go, they all go in this big old tree, and basically, they're bringing, like, flowers, and, and they're bringing leaves back to the tree, because the tree didn't have any leaves or anything. So, yeah, and as they're doing this, they start to evolve. So, we get to see a very cool scene of the more lowly evolving. Like, they grew, they, like, they were purple when they were evolving, so it wasn't like how Palisand was, or... How it was kind of like Steenies, but it was more of the glow on it. I guess we'll only get the evolutions like Steenies for major Pokemon, like maybe the group's Pokemon, but still, whether or not it was like a really nice scene that they were showing off with all the more lows evolving and stuff. After that, the I, f I don't know how to pronounce his name, but the more lows evolution that the more that were, they were working with came back to Ash and the others. And basically started giving like them some energy back. They all pass out, and when they wake up, they all have a full stomach. Like, oh wow, like yeah, the mortal gave the mortal's evolution gave back energy. 
And I find that pretty cool that it does that. And also, I think it helps Pokemon sleep sleep good, And I think. I think that's also something they mentioned. But that's cool that the evolution gives back the energy that it was using earlier. Because I don't think it can, a Morlo could eat. So that's probably how it gets his food supplies. But this whole episode was a, a it was a good episode. It wasn't really too much. It could have been better, I think. Like, I wasn't expecting Ash to catch it at first, but once we got to see how they were working together like that, I almost thought Ash was going to catch it. But he already has Rowlet, so it wouldn't make sense for him to get another grass type. I also thought Mallow was going to catch it as well. Because Mallow, like, well, at first Mallow and Lily seemed to be really scared of, like, Lana's story, so it didn't really seem too likely for Mallow to catch the Pokemon either. But yeah. Overall, this was an, an, a pretty good episode. At the end, it turns out Lily's hungry now. And it was so funny because she was like, oh, my gosh. Like, her stomach just growled out of nowhere. But, yeah, overall, it was a decent episode. It wasn't really too much, like, development or nothing. I'm more excited for the next episode where Pikachu is going to be with Lily. Vol Alolan Vulpix is going to be with Ash. It appears that Kiawe will be getting Poplio because we see Kiawe's sister playing with Poplio. Lana will be getting Turdinator. Can we see Lana's sisters playing with Turdinator? And I'm guessing that Sophocles will be getting Steeny and Mallow will be getting Tuggy tomorrow. I wonder how Mallow and Tuggy tomorrow will, like, because Mallow is a, a chef. So I wonder how will Tuggy tomorrow help out or will Tuggy tomorrow just mess up, mess up the whole kitchen and stuff. But yeah, that's going to be really cool, especially because Lily's going to be battling the butler. So it's going to be Pikachu versus Oricorio. And I'm glad to see that Pikachu is getting some development out of this as well. It appears Ash will be getting into a battle as well with Alolan Vulpix. Because we see Ash telling it to use um, the Ice Attack. I forgot his name. I, I believe that in this episode, Alolan Vulpix will learn maybe Ice Beam or something new. Because, you know, Ash, Ash can train good Pokemon well. So, I can see that happening. But yeah, overall, this episode was a decent episode. I, I yeah, It was good. It was, it was good, like... It was good animation overall, but like the story of the episode wasn't all too great, and it kind of felt long too. Like, like yeah, but it it was okay overall. But I hope y'all enjoyed this review. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode and what are your guys' hopes for the next episode. And I actually hope that Lily touch, does touch Pikachu because Pikachu just wants to hug Lily so bad it seems. Even in the intro, we can see Pikachu with Lily and she gets scared. But thank you all for watching. Train Man 1. Oh, also, we, we're getting a new opening, too. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting as well. It's going to be, I, I think, the next episode. So, yeah, be expecting that as well. Train Man 1. Peace out.